Hello everybody, this is your boy Kenneth, reporting from the K265, giving you all a brand new video, and it's on Chris Brown's new album called X. Now, I'm, this review I'm going to give you guys before I start off, is three different versions of this album, so I'm going to give you guys every version that's out. Now, the regular version has, I'll say probably about like 17 songs on the, you know, the regular edition. The deluxe version has 21. And then if you get the and then the Japanese version of the album has twenty makes it twenty two tracks, so I'm give you guys full blown you know full blown every track give you the rundown of what's what because I know you guys want to know who's on the album who's not on the album so I'll just let y'all know straight up. Now to begin off the album, I know the album X is really I'm gonna be honest with you guys it's amazing, one of his best works to date. I really have to say that because I thought with the delay of the album, you know, because of the legal situations he's been going through and everything, I thought it would have, you know, make things kind of not sound good. But Team Breezy, if you guys are watching this, you will be happy, excited, and appreciative of what Chris Brown brought to the table. Now, track number one is the title track X, which I know you guys know is produced by D Blow. Deep low. Oh my gosh, that song, I love it. Now, I know when you guys hear the hear X, you're going to be like, okay, who's this reference to? Is this a reference to? Because when I first heard it, I'm like, is this for Rihanna or his girlfriend right now, Karuchi? I was like, but at first it kind of, you know, from the way the song was going about, but I like the song. Really good, really different, but it fit Chris Brown's personality and fits his singing style, so I have to say, I love it. I'm going to try number two. It's called Add Me In. Great track was very impressed with how the you know delivery and just overall the track now when we get to now this is the track that y'all know loyal now on this album version it's featuring Lil Wayne and Tiger that's the original one if y'all didn't know that because I know we've heard so many different versions of it but I love that song now at first when I heard it I was like I don't know about that song but then it the beat and everything it took me by surprise but at the same time I like the song even though it's ain't these hoes ain't loyal but hey but that's a different debate. But hey, he did his thing on it. I, I give him that. Now, the next track, New Flame, which you all know, a feature, which I love the video for featuring Usher and Rick Ross. Love that song, Death. One of my jams right there. Because when I first heard it, I was like, what? Chris got Usher. He got Rick, he got Ricky Rose. I'm like, no, you can't get any better than that. Man, when I heard it. But the video make everything more, more situated, more. You like it more. Now, next track is called 12, no, Song on 12 Play. Let me correct that. Song on 12 Play featuring Trey Songs. Now, now I know y'all going to be wondering, 12, no, Song on 12 Play. What is, like, what is that now? In my opinion, him and Trey, they're singing a song. But it seemed like it was like a, like a, it's like a, should I say like a tribute or like an inspiration, like a tribute? Or like, I should say like a, um. Not tribute, but just more like a um, homage to R. Kelly, because a lot of you guys know Chris Brown and Trey Songs were influenced by R. Kelly, just like a lot of these R&B artists were influenced by R. Kelly, because R. R. Kelly's one of the best R&B, um, best male R&B singers out there. So let's just put it out there. But I think R. Kelly would love that song. Any R. Kelly fans, you'll love it. Chris Brown fans and Trey Song fans, you'll love it. Now the one on one interlude was pretty good. I was like, all right, Chris. I'm like, Chris Breezy, you doing your thing, yo. Now, the next track is called Drown In It, and it's featuring R. Kelly. Now, I was like, yo, R. Kelly on this song? But put the two of them together, dynamic duo, bam, great track. Now, when you get to the next track, Came To Do, featuring Akon. It's, feature, it's, it's not featured. It's featuring Akon, but it's produced by Nick Nack, and they did um, Loyal, the song Loyal also, so if you guys like that, like, um, we'll hear the beat, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, this sound like Loyal, like, the same beat Loyal, but same producers, same producer, of the, same producer of that track, so just so you know, producer, producers, I'll just say, but it just gave me that feel, it's like, okay, interesting, interesting, now, Stereotype, I just love the, that, that beat, the song, that's all I gotta say about it. And just, you know, first when I heard stereotype, I'm thinking, okay, is it a stereotype towards his Chris Brown's character as a person, or just stereotype is like you could take it as a race thing? But it just was, like, it was a great song. I'll just say that. Now the next track is called "Time for Love." It was pretty good. I was really, really impressed. I was like, all right, like, 
it was it was decent. I was it was not no bad track because I'm gonna let y'all know straight up, no bad tracks on this on X. I really say that about a lot of albums, only certain albums, but that's really really impressive. Now, the, now the, another interlude is called "Lady in a Glass Dress." It gave me like a um like a Motown, like a like a Michael Jackson, Diana Ross type of feel. That's just that's just my thought. I know y'all may think differently when you hear it, but that's just what I thought. Now the next track is one of my favorites called Autumn Leaves featuring Kendrick Lamar and the two of them, Chris singing and but then when Kendrick Lamar gets to his truck gets to the track, he really I mean really he just blew it out of the park. I was like and it felt like he was just going like like a raw type of feel. I was like, all right, Kendrick, like and like he was just it was like the eye of the tiger when that song was coming out. Like when Kendrick's part came out, y'all know what I mean on that Kendrick Lamar if you're watching this. Who's friend of yours waiting for your album to come out soon? But Autumn Leaves is a great track, one of the best tracks on the album. And this is another track right here. I love this track. Track number 13, one of my favorite tracks. And one of the best songs called Do Better featuring Brandy. Now I know y'all know I'm a huge Brandy fan. And you know Chris Brown and Brandy, y'all know they did two years ago. They did put it down for Brandy's 211 album. So you know that chemistry was amazing on that song. And this song right here continues that chemistry. And you know, Brandy was going in on that track, just like Chris was. I was like, whoa, Brandy. Like, I was really, really impressed with you. Even though Brandy always impresses me, the two of them on that track and that beat, I was like, oh man. Tell me you doing better, you want to do better in either you know, relationship or just doing better in general. Good track to listen to. Now, next track was called See You Around. Not a bad track. It was good. I was like, all right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And that's track number 14, what I just said. See you around. Now, track number 15 is called Don't Be Gone Too Long, featuring Ariana Grande. Now, when you hear that song, you don't think it's for... At first, when I heard it, I thought it was for Ariana Grande. It's not going to be on Ariana Grande's album that's out right now. Not everything, but it fits both of their styles. It has a pop feel. But I feel like it had, it had like a pop, like a pop, I said like a pop dance feel to it, like a dance pop feel to it, but... Pretty interesting. I saw the video. Great job to both of them because I'm a fan of both of theirs. Now the next track, Body Shots. I was like, Chris Brown. Was, it was a club track. When you hear that song, Body Shots talking about he wants shots from the bar, but at the same time, you know, you, you know how some people when they get into the clubs they want those shots, and sometimes people do body shots and all the above. I, I don't do that, but hey, I don't, I don't knock my body on what they do to each his own. But it was, but it was interesting. I, I had to say that, but Chris. Chris Brown the life it made me it made me think of a visual when I heard the song. Now this is track number seventeen. This will end off the regular version of the album called Drunk Testing featuring Janae Aiko. Now I know y'all know Janae Aiko is an amazing artist, just like Chris is an amazing artist. So two of them it gave it that soul hip hop R and B feel. But at the same time it was very flirty. So I think if you guys like that, you'll you know what I mean on that. Now that will end the um, regular version. Now we're going to get to the deluxe version for those that have the deluxe version. Now track number 18 is called Lost in Your Love. That should just be straightforward what the song is about. Lost in Your Love. You know how you love somebody. Sometimes you get lost in the love of just maybe they're being a great person or just overall being amazing, period. So that's what that was about. Now track number 19. I love, 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 love this track called Love More featuring Nicki Minaj. And a lot of you guys, if you know Nicki Minaj, Chris Brown, I saw the video when it came out a couple months ago. You all know what I mean. Great track. Had that energy because you know Chris has that hyper energy just like Nicki has that hyper energy. And the two of them together. Boom. Now this is another track I love, love, love. And I love every single track, but Chris really brought it. And this is track number 20 called Don't Think They Know. You guys already heard the song featuring the late Grey Alia. And I know a lot of you guys, when you hear it, you're going to be like, how they do this? Now, y'all know, we know, they know what, you can get ways of getting, um, you know, stamp, you know, um, original vocals from a late artists, and you can put it on with current artists, and it can sound just as new as it came out. But a lot of you guys probably didn't know, if you know the song, don't, don't think they, don't think they know, it's, some parts they're singing is from John B's song, they don't know, um, huge classic song, signature song, I should say, they don't know. That John B came out with, I say like late ninety seven, going to ninety eight, nineteen ninety eight. So if those of you guys just want to know that, if you guys are saying that that song sound familiar, where did that come from? That's what now you know that. Now this is the track that just started it off for the X album Fine China. Everybody's know the song. 
got that Michael Jackson feel. Fit Chris Brown style, especially with the video. Because y'all, if y'all don't know, I did a song review on Fine China. And I love that track when I first heard it. Well, really, I did a video review of um, Fine China. But I love that song. It got that great energy from Chris. And, you know, just the dance feel. So a lot of you guys love that track. That's about it right there. Now, that will end the deluxe version. Now, the Japanese version has one more track to make it 22 tracks on this. And it's called No Lights. If you like the like the dance, like, you like the pop, but like, dance feel. I can't really say if it's, it got like a, it sounded like a Euro pop, but it wasn't really like a Euro pop, but like a dance pop feel called No Lights. Great track. For those of you, you want something that's like, something to jam to at the club, but at the same time not overdoing it. It's that track you want to definitely check out right there. Because I feel like you got a lot of different elements into that song. But Chris really delivered as he always. So that's all I have to say. That's the end of this album review of the songs. Now if you want to keep up with Chris Breezy or I should say Chris Brown. You can follow him on Twitter. At Chris Brown which is one word. Chris Brown. One word. Now if you want to follow him on his Instagram. Because I know everybody wants to know what's his Instagram. Or if you don't know already. It's Chris Brown Official. So that way y'all know that. And if you want to um, keep up with your boy right here, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at KTooks. The show that you're watching at KTooks Spot, it does have a Twitter page at KTooks Spot. And definitely make sure if you, all my Team Breezy fans that love Chris Brown, anybody that loves Chris Brown, you don't have to be Team Breezy, but even if you just love Chris Brown for his music and not judging him for who he is, but love the music, definitely make sure you thumbs up the video by liking it. Make sure you share the video. Make sure you comment, because I know after you guys heard the X album, let me know what your favorite tracks are. What did you think about the album overall? Did it really impress you, blow you away? Definitely know. let me know what you guys think about it because I want to know straight up what you guys think about it. And that will end it right there. But And also, make sure you subscribe to the K2 spot. Pushing the subscribe button down there and up here if you however you guys want to do it. And shout out to Chris Brown. If you're watching this man, huge fan of yours. You're a fellow tourist like I am. I'm May 4th. You May 5th. You know what's up. And I know a lot of you guys are saying the title from his birthday. You know, the month, the month of his birthday and the day of his birthday. Make it 10, which is the X. And you know X is the, tw the 24th letter in the alphabet. So that way you guys know the meaning of X. So that's about it. So this is your boy Kenneth signing off from the k Spot. So have a blessed one and enjoy and be blessed. And actually enjoy Chris Brown's album. So